The narrative of mining is ever evolving on the Iron Range, and so it is appropriate that the cover story for our Mine 5 edition that comes out on October 29th takes a look in words and photos of how the Sudan underground mine has evolved the past 130 years. It was 13 decades ago when the first load of rich red ore on the range was delivered from the mine to waiting rail cars and tower for shipment to the ore docks of Agate Bay in what is now Two Harbors. The 130 year history has allowed the Sudan mine to live on today as both a state park that honors and respects those miners of yesterday, while also serving as home for projects that will explore the remarkable science of the future. Misabi Daily News reporter Angie Reby and photographer Mark Sauer recently journeyed deep into the Sudan mine to levels not open to visitors to experience the facility's ongoing story. Life stands still in the reaches of the Sudan underground mine. Remnants of equipment and daily life sit vacated in the vast tunnels, just as they were left the day mining stopped there more than 50 years ago. But deep in the belly of the mine, life persists. Scientists for a number of years have already been conducting experiments far underground where miners once labored, and it doesn't stop there. A new unexpected discovery could even hold promise of scientific breakthroughs that could affect our lives in years to come. The Mind Project is a collaborative effort of the Mesabi Daily News, Hibbing Daily Tribune, Grand Rapids Herald Review, and Chisholm Tribune Press, all of them Adams Publishing Group newspapers. Here's a snapshot look at some of the two dozen other stories and guest columns that will be part of your Mine 5 edition. A story will look at the 21st Century Minerals Fund. We will profile the 50th anniversary of Ever Attacknight and United Attacknight operations. Ever wonder who fixes those big tires of mining trucks? We'll profile the Iron Range Tire Company. Tritec is a steel fabricating business in Virginia, which is expanding with employees being added. We will take you back 130 years ago to when the first shipment of red ore on the range left by rail in tower. We will feature the mining-related Lind Industries of Hibbing. The National Steel Pension story has had many twists and turns. We'll provide a historical outline and an update. Esther Steel in Nashrock is back on track. We'll take you there for a site visit and update on the venture. There's a lot going on in mining and engineering classes at Iron Range High Schools. We'll have the story. In Babbitt, you travel to the end of the road, literally, and have to make a U-turn and retrace your steps to get out of town. A story will focus on the little town that could and still can. We will examine Minnesota Power's portfolio that is so valuable to the Iron Range. Did you know that the Cuyuna Range had a major role in the advent of the space program? A Mine 5 story will explain. And we'll have guest columns from Aurora Mayor Mary Hess, Hibbing Chamber Executive Director Lori Fito, State Representative David Dill of Crane Lake, Duluth Metals CEO Kelly Osborne, Larry Lettinen, the CEO and founder of Magnetation on the West Range, and Virginia Mayor Louis Russo. The story of mining on the Iron Range is a fascinating one, filled with tradition, character, and characters, great history, and tremendous promise. The Mine Project was established 16 months ago to better tell the story of the mining industry and to honor those who have worked in the business, are there today, and those who will be doing so for generations to come. We are proud to be developing and bringing you Mine 5, which adds to the fine tradition of Iron Range Mining.